Hi guys, welcome back. And today we're on the lot again and look what I got. Look. It's a watermelon. Baby, oh, I should leave it like that, right? Yeah. Baby watermelon. Today we are checking up on the goats that we got yesterday. Uh, yesterday we went to one of our neighbors here and they're selling, um, they have like a bunch of goats on their lot. So we picked two, one male, one female, and they're gonna be on our lot eating all of this grass because we got lots. And we might ask the rest of the crew over there, the rest of the goats to come over and eat next few months because we got so much grass. It's gonna be a buffet. <coughs> Man, welcome to the family. Welcome to the family. If I had a spirit animal, I swear it would be a goat. Look at all those alumni in the goat. Oh, that's thick. raining so we are going to pick up our goat we are en route to our neighbor's house a couple steps down uh, raining a little bit it's gathering like tea it's gathering like tea apparently we got two goats available to be sold we're trying to buy one boy and one girl a male and a female there they are, there they are. <laughs> guys you guys you guys might see some rated r action right now <laughs> Oh. Oh, he's peeing. Okay, he's probably not up to. It. Oh, he's pooping already. Oh. So we have a dilemma here. Sky wants the black. Which one do you want? Final. Final. Black or brown for the girls? Oh, I brown girl. What are you doing? Are you drinking from the milk? Yo. Baby. It's a big baby. What? <laughs> he, he's drinking. Like the daddy pa siya? Wow, that's a full grown goat. Okay, Sky, we're gonna go get this goat right here. And then that one. Bone. Bone? Yes, they have a bone. That's a boy, that's why. That's why he has a bone. Why is this one having no bone? It has no bone because that's a girl. Oh. These are girls, they don't have bones. Only the boys have bones. Sky calls the. Um, the the boy the the male private parts bones. I'm gonna call that one bean and I'm gonna call this one wasab. Bean and wasab. So pinangalan na ni Sky. May pangalan na. Why do you not want to? Because we're the new owners. Okay. He doesn't know us. Whoa! Let's go, go Sky. Oh, you gotta pull the you gotta doggy. Pull. I mean the doggy, the goat. One is less than a year. But what I'm talking about is like, the goat can get pregnant after three to six months. We're going to your new home a couple of meters away. Look at all these dogs following their, their owner. They're so loyal and they're protecting the goats as well. Mr. Bean and... What? Mr. Bean and Mr. Wasab. They're gonna have lots of food here on our lot. We got lots of grass. Um, and then we got one of our guard dogs here to protect them. And we also got a chicken here on our lot. The next day. Good morning, goats. So this is Mr. Bean, and this is Miss Wasab. Miss Wasab just had a massive poop this morning. Oh, now she can eat because she had to poop and peep first. She had to take care of business first before she started eating grass. Eat, sleep, poop, repeat. There we go. Now they're getting comfortable. You guys are gonna eat all day today. Yeah, they got lots of grass right here to work on. Mom, you put these two and I'll put 
Yeah, you need to sunk it. Malunga is really good for you, so we're gonna try to incorporate it into our juice today. Honestly, we haven't juiced since we got here, since a year ago. Fresh malunga right off the tree. There's some yellow leaves here, but uh, yeah. Free and organic moringa here. Bili bili na kaya. Malunggay po. I feel like walang nagbebenta dito ng malunggay. Don't you notice that in the palenque? Yeah. Because it's like growing literally everywhere. everywhere. Honestly, goats are so peaceful. Like, they're like the most peaceful animal. And we laugh the same way. <laughs> oh, whoa, he looked at me. This guy's like, where's the other goat? Right here, Sky. <laughs> Daddy's a goat. Daddy's a goat. Here, Daddy. <laughs> Meh. We're talking, so we're saying hi, welcome to the family. Welcome to the family! If I had a spirit animal, I swear it would be a goat. Okay, so this is the juicer. So this brand is Slow Star. We got this from Canada for... Eight years ago. Yeah, and I don't know how much it was then. But um, there's so many brands nowadays, brands of juicer, and I've actually seen a couple of them in SM City. All over. We are including apples, carrots, and then we're just squeezing lemon on top of our juice later. And then we got our mal malungai leaves. Um, you can certainly add other items, but for today we're just having these. This is a slow juicer. But why is this called slow juicer? It will squeeze out all the nutrients. Slowly? Yeah, slowly. So this is obviously very different from just when you shake it. Because when you shake it, you still get a lot of the fiber. This one is just the juice, yeah, and then it spits out the fiber out of here, as you guys will see in a little bit. And um, since we got this from Canada, we're using the 110 voltage, and that one is 220, so we always make sure that we don't use that one when we're using our appliances from Canada. We use this one, such as this um, coffee machine that I have. I always have to make sure that I put it there. Otherwise, it's gonna break. There we go. Look, look how you need to. it is. Look at all of those malungai. In they go. Yeah, from two small apples and one big apple, one medium-sized carrot and a bunch of malungai leaves we got these two glasses but i think this is so potent so i'm gonna mix mine with a bunch of ice and a tumbler and then i'm gonna squeeze some lemon i try it i've never tried moringa in a juice so hopefully it's good it smells good It's so bitter. This is made to become a shot today. And I made mine into a complete juice with lots of ice. Look, this is pure. <laughs> if I had only known that this tastes like this, I would have made it into a shot too. Like this. Yeah, okay, I go know. ahead. It's like drinking tequila. If you want to be healthy, you gotta like take the bad taste that comes with being healthy. That's how you know it's healthy. Yeah. Cheers. That, that hits you. Your turn. Bartender. Actually, it's not bad if you do it really fast. Oh, that's thick. <laughs> I thought we juiced this. Why is it so thick? If I vomit, just cut it. Let's you eat breakfast. I didn't eat breakfast yet. That's my first meal. Okay. Mm. It doesn't smell as bad as the barley grass, but I don't know. I know it's bitter when I sip it, so. And you know why it's thick too? The apple is old. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I got the old yeah, apple. Yeah, it's a really old apple. That's why it's super thick. I'm I'm ready. Go ahead, I'm not go ready. ahead. I'm ready, I'm not ready, okay. Woo! 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 What? <laughs> it's like you're a different person. <laughs> oh my god, I need water. I, I was about to pee, I was like, it was right here. It's like drinking a whole bunch of grass. A bit of grass. I don't know how goats can do this. 
You know the juice that we used to make? It actually tastes really good, right? But this one we might need to mix like a little bit you of what? taste I, to it. You know what? I, um, there's too much malungai. Maybe, we, I put like, I don't know how, like a lot of malungai in there, that's why. I feel nauseated. That's all that uh, nutrients shocking the system. I have like tears in my eyes, look. Tears. But yeah, I know it's, it's good, but does it have to taste that bad? I'm nauseated, hold on. No, I'm, 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 I'm nauseated. I think we put like the whole bunch, right? So it's I don't even taste the apple or the carrot. I only yeah. taste leaves. We put too much yeah. lingai. So we gotta balance it out. Proportion that yeah, you have to mind your proportions. Anyways, that's it. Okay, so just an update. I'm super nauseated. Holy! And I ate breakfast this morning versus um he didn't eat breakfast. If I didn't eat breakfast, I'll be like passed out right now. So I was searching online because we didn't really, we'll have 5% battery. We didn't really search how to make Moringa juice. So M juice, the entire thing with the stems, the, basically the bunch that you guys saw earlier. And then I was searching now, we're not supposed to use the stems apparently, just the leaves. So I don't know if that may have caused some toxicity in our body. But yeah, we're going to try to um, drink it again, maybe tomorrow. And then we're going to search for like some recipe. To so that it'll taste a lot better than today. So yeah, can you see the glow in my skin? I get the gut. <laughs> no, I'm just joking. Anyways, um, yeah, we gotta we gotta have the right mixture next time to make it more enjoyable, enjoyable to drink. Anyways. So I'm eating chips to balance out the healthy malungai shot that we just took earlier. Cause ah, my body's not uh, taking it well. We've been doing a little bit of research. Apparently, we should have boiled the malungai just a little bit, make it soft, but not kill the nutrients. And when you boil it too, you kill all if there's any bugs or whatever is in there, right? You can get rid get rid of all that stuff. And then after you boil, then you juice. And also, we're not supposed to include the stem, like the root, the yeah. the bark. We uh we got the juice from the bark. I'm not sure if that's healthy. I mean, I'm not sure if we're supposed to even drink that stuff i was looking online it says that the root stem or like the bark the root bark or stem has some toxicity in them so hopefully we're not poisoned <laughs> okay i might just have to take one because i'm kind of still nauseated but yeah don't do it like us we got like a whole bunch you know what it is we got excited yeah we got super excited because we've never juiced in a while, right? We want to get back to our routine. Yeah, I did get a little bit excited about that. Let us know what kind of mixtures can we use with the moringa to make it not taste as um spicy. <laughs> I don't know. That drink had a little bite to it. It's like it kind of pinches you a little bit in your throat when you drink it. So I was looking online, maybe mix a little bit of honey and um, lemon. Let us know what else we can mix with it. So that Sky can drink it too. I'm gonna take a couple tries so we get the proper mixture. I'm gonna leave you with your chips now. It's called life eating balance, right? Life eating balance. <laughs> we we watch the sun go down over the same old town like so many times before. We look at the same old stars, battle the same old wars like so many times before.